Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Alchemist96. I'm a new Call of Duty commentator, and this is my first video that I'm putting onto my channel. Um, just quick recap of this game before anything. I'm using the ACR on Outpost, I think it's called, and this is one of my first games of the session, so I'm sort of just getting a feel for the teammates, for the lobby, all that fun stuff. But it's pretty self-explanatory, and it's not a horrible score. So that's that. Um, a little bit more about me. Uh, I'm 23, just graduated college, and I've been into this Call of Duty thing for a little while now. Been watching YouTube videos for a couple of years, and always considered getting into commentating on my own, but never really did anything with it until now. So I'm giving it a shot as something that could be fun as a little hobby on the side, now that I have a little bit more extra time and whatever. Some of the things that I plan on bringing to my channel are things that I like to watch on YouTube myself. So it'll be different types of games, gameplays, stuff like that. Obviously I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 right now and that's probably the most popular game that I play. But I also like to try out FIFA, Skyrim, I know Mass Effect is coming out soon just different different types of games different types of things like that and it's all up to suggestion really if certain people like certain games and I might be down to try it out I don't see why not but um yeah hopefully this is a good hobby because I see a lot of people have done it and have found themselves having a good time with it and I figured why not and I'm also trying to learn some different skills for myself from this such as video editing, which I'm doing now, overlaying, or using Photoshop, Vegas, anything like that. Just skills that might become useful later on and will help me get this going a little bit better for myself. And even, even on top of that, there's certain things I want to learn for myself, but I'm also going to be able to, to spread out and network with other people. For instance, uh, I got on Huppet Gaming right when it started from watching Woody and Saspen, just like a lot of other people have, and I've always read the the forums and stuff like that, but I've been more of a watcher and not much of a take part in type of person, but I know that there's a, a good YouTube support section on there, and I, I've read a couple of forums recently about it, and I found a few people that are really willing to help out and things like that, and I'm all for that. I I mean, at this moment, I don't have too much to offer and help because I'm just getting started myself, but I'm sure other people are in another position, maybe need a little bit more help than I do. I'm willing to help and I'm willing to, to get help just to learn how to, these things go. And maybe this could be a mutually beneficial thing. So I'm trying to just give it a shot and see how it goes. But anyways, I guess since this is a Call of Duty commentary, I might as well actually give it a shot in commentating a little bit. So if anyone's been watching the gameplay up to this point, um, I've just been going around using my ACR, just unlocked it. It was probably my favorite gun going through my Zero Prestige and figured why not give it a shot. So I know this game has been out for a while now, I guess almost five months at this point. And I just got into my first Prestige a couple days ago. And it's probably for a reason that a lot of other people have come in touch with. It's when the game first came out, it was a little bit too frustrating for me. And a combination of not really having enough time to play Xbox in general and then almost forcing myself to play a frustrating game just really wasn't working for me. So I put it down for November, December, and January pretty much. Just started playing two weeks ago. And I'm sort of having a, a good time with it again. It's almost a different experience, but at the same time, now is when I'm catching up with a lot of the the bad things in the game that other people have been talking about that I've been hearing or reading, and I'm seeing it for myself. But I guess take it with a grain of salt and just try to have as much fun as you can since it is just a video game after all. And like a lot of other people, I've raged and... It sort of ruins the experience, but something I found that makes the game a lot better, makes playing more enjoyable in general, is just finding a couple of friends to play with and talking on the mic. If you're talking, if you want to play seriously, then talk seriously. If you want to just hang out, just hang out over party chat, whatever it may be. 
it just makes you have more fun. Sometimes you don't notice how well you could do when you're not focusing a thousand percent of your attention on the on the game itself. But it's a little bit of a mix and match. Personally, I like to do both. I like to talk garbage and play well and see how it turns out. Personally, a lot of my real life friends who I used to game with a lot didn't get into the Modern Warfare 3 scene. They sort of either play a little bit, didn't like it, or just haven't had time to play too much. So I found myself playing more Lone Wolf than I did before. Black Ops was pretty much for me just partying up with a lot of real friends or other people I met from Huppet and playing most of my games through, through parties. And Modern Warfare 2 was the first game that I ever played in Call of Duty series. And that game I used to play by myself all the time because I didn't know the difference and I was pretty garbage. But now I just play by myself because I have to play by myself. I just never really find myself getting into parties for this game too often. But when I do, it actually makes it for a more enjoyable experience. So if any of you guys ever feel like playing in a party and you're on, just send me an Xbox Live message and you could say you're from Huppet or you saw me on YouTube or whatever it might be. I'll probably be down. Um, I am te technically just now using my regular Xbox headset. I had a pair of Astros and my dog ate them so they're in the garbage unfortunately. I actually have a spare set of Tritons that I am gonna be using but I misplaced the power for them so they're actually worthless until I get the power cable that I'm gonna order off the line. So for now I'm just rocking a really loud TV set and the old Xbox Live headset. So if you guys can bear with that, then I'll be down to play whenever it is you guys want. So this game is pretty much coming to a close. Right now we're up 171 to 79, I think it is. And I'm going through like my third set of attack kill streaks, And it was, it was pretty entertaining, actually. I rarely use attack uh, kill streak loadout just because I play by myself. So I figure that support is usually more useful. But I just so happen to have it on this class setup and it worked out based on the lobby that I got into so it makes it for a little bit more entertaining of a gameplay to watch and to play because everybody knows that using assault kill streaks every now and again is pretty fun if you noticed I've tried to call in an attack helicopter at least three or four times and I think my own choppers are chopper blocking my own choppers so that's just one of those frustrating things but thanks for watching my first gameplay commentary i hope you guys enjoyed it if anybody has any questions comments or concerns you can either leave them in the comments send me a message find me on huppet xbox whatever it may be and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can but i appreciate you guys watching the video and hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i enjoyed making it so thanks a lot guys later